I wanted to give a brief overview on saving processes inside of Gibbscam. Being able to save processes is a really huge way to save time when you're doing the same type of programs over and over again. Let's say for instance I have this part of my screen and this is pretty typical to parts that I machine every day. I'm in a pattern shop and the first thing I do to every part regardless of the shape is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick facing routine and then a quick, let me repaint this really quick, I do a quick facing routine and then I do just a quick roughing routine. And then from here, obviously, I would go through, do some finishing, some pencil milling, things like that. But every part that I get in, I do it with these tools. I have tool number one is my face mill, and then tool number two is, say, a half inch rougher. So I want to take that, I want to capture that, and I want to apply that to every model that comes in. So I, just, I don't want to have to go create the tool, bring it down, create this tool, bring it down, you know, create this stuff. So what we do is we come up here to the processes tab. So here you can see we have save, load, or set directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this process. And it says, okay, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop for now. And I'm gonna call this initial rough. And it's gonna save that process for me, all right? So now let me go ahead and I'm just gonna select these and delete it. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm starting from scratch here, right? I just bring this part in and I want to go ahead and apply those. So I'm gonna say processes, I'm gonna load a process, and I'm gonna come down to this PRC file, and I'm gonna open that up. And you can see when I open that up, it automatically pulls up these processes. I'm gonna go ahead and select my model, and hit do it, and it automatically takes those and applies it. So regardless of the um, geometry, you know, I pick it all, and it goes ahead and does it. Now, this is something that was really easy to show because it's one big solid, but you can use this for a bunch of stuff. If you're doing finishing work, uh, do, going around contours, and let's say you wanna go around the contour with maybe a roughing end mill first, or maybe a fatter half inch, and then come through and then finish it up with an eighth inch, you can do that. Um, any kind of processes where you have more than one operation and you keep doing those over and over again, this is a really great way to save those. I wanted to show you before before I um, tune out here, so I just wanted to show you processes and set directory. What this will do is this will set the directory where you save and where you can get those processes. So you can actually save it to a specific file so every time you update Gibbs, it doesn't overwrite them. You can save them to your C drive, your documents, somewhere where you can get them all the time. So if you have any questions about creating processes, uh, please feel free to reach out to your reseller or give Gibbs Camp Technical Support a call. Thank you.